next topic we will discuss about multi conditional statement using if elif previous class we discussed about if and if else the two way and followed by nested now this is multi conditional see the flow first counter will go to condition 1 it will test if this condition 1 is true then it will move to this true block section this block will execute after finished it will exit from this conditional code it will move to the next line of coding so even if condition true or false python it won't te test this condition okay if uh, whenever the first condition gets failed then it will move to second condition second condition true then true block will work and execute then exit from conditional code or if second condition also fail it will move to third condition then third conditional block will execute and will move to the next like this we can write multiple condition n number of condition this all in the outer code it's not nested it's all outer code and see the indentation that syntax indentation it's all in the outer section if all the given conditions are failed then control will go to else part so else always will be at the footer okay else is a keyword followed by indentation and re recap the syntax if followed by condition end colon same syntax rule for elif also elif is python keyword end with colon if it comes from other programming there is a keyword called else if but here elif same behavior okay and then followed by next so whenever we are using colon the next line indentation it's important in python okay so the order first we'll test condition one if it is true then we'll move to condition true block then exit from conditional code whenever condition one gets failed control will go to condition two okay like this whenever condition two will get failed we'll move to condition three if all the given conditions are failed then it will go to false block so this is the order of execution for multi-conditional now say this our example if fell well, if so here written name initialized variable value root say the condition statement if name we declare an initialized root now this is comparison we know what is the written value of this written boolean so first condition true means control will go will execute first condition then it exit from the conditional code it won't test it the remaining whether true or false it won't enter to this section code and this all it is single code indentation see the primary prompt and indentation after finished and see the next prompt will get appeared this is first condition true so it will execute and then we will move to the next conditional code that is next statement of conditional code if first condition failed you can take this example name i value i modified earlier it was root now i modified user a so user a it's different but flow first will test the first condition see the execution flow first will test the condition one now condition 1 false then move to the condition 2 here condition 2 it's true then it will execute this true section of code then it will move to the next block of code the term next means next primary prompt so it won't evaluate the next section of code either elif or else it won't execute but it tested first if failed then control will go to the second okay if second condition also failed you can take this example user b so first condition failed then second condition also failed then it will move to the third condition third condition success then the third block will execute it this is all the outer code block structure if elif outer code recap how this third block is executing it's not direct execution it tested from condition one failed then move to elif second condition again condition two failed then we'll move to third condition so third condition success then third conditional code will execute it it won't enter to the else spot or anything if all the given conditions are failed then now say this user c name variable value but here first condition failed then we'll move to second condition second condition failed we'll move to third condition all the given conditions are failed then automatically control will go to else spot then else returns invalid login name else is optional even if you don't want to write else it's fine but the order of execution after finished all these given conditions then control will go to else means if all the conditions are false it tested 
first testing failed second testing failed third testing failed like this we can create n number of testing if all the testing failed then we will move to else part code so this is way to writing for if elif style code so python we can write if only if else and if elif this three way we can write conditional code this all this conditional statements in python and followed by next class we'll discuss some activity how to use this all this conditional code in nested order and outer order okay so once again quickly recap the syntax it's important in indentation so if followed by condition end colon then same elif followed by end colon indentation once colon it comes at the end the next line indent see the prompt symbol this is all this test prompt that is in the python prompt symbol secondary prompt this greater than symbol is primary prompt so of the entire if elif code including else it's all one line code single line of interpretation code after finished then control will go to the next prompt okay so next class we'll continue some activity about this conditional code thank you